Gail Gordon. There's something I'd like to say, I, uh, and I, I, I'd appreciate it if, if you wouldn't say anything until I'm finished. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, I, I just wanted to say that I, I've worked for you for quite a while, and you're a wonderful person. And uh, even though I'm only an employee, I, I, I really feel that I'm just as much of a human being as you are, you know? <laughs> Please, Mr. Mooney, let me finish. Um, I, I just wanted to say that if I make any more mistakes, I beg of you, don't make fun of me. Don't try to make a monkey out of me all the time. Because if you keep that up, I'm afraid I'll just have to look for another job. You understand, Mr. Mooney? Understand what? Oh, oh Mr. Mooney. Boy, am I glad to see you again. Mrs. Uh, Carmichael, is there something the matter with you? Not anymore. Now you can read the statement. Oh, thank you. Well, I'll have to go upstairs and get my glasses. Oh, I'll get them for you. Where are they? Well, they're in the den upstairs, but I don't see any reason No, no, going. you sit down and relax. I'll be good to you if you'll be good to me. Don't you worry about a thing. Banana looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't worry, I wouldn't take yours for the world. Get my own, I'd just <laughs> There they are, I cleaned them all up for you. <laughs> Face your fear. Face your fear. I, I'm facing my fear, but it won't disappear. <laughs> it stays right here. <laughs> Mr. Mooney, may I use your phone? Dr. Parker, this is Lucy Carmichael. I'm so glad you're in. Listen, I tried to do what you said about the hallucination, but I'm with Mr. Mooney right now, and they keep switching from a monkey to Mooney and uh, to a monkey again. <laughs> it's just no use, Doctor. What? Yes? And bring uh, Mr. Mooney with me? Mr. Carmichael? <laughs> yes? Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm a Dr. Parker, a psychiatrist, oh. and I think you should go down and see him right away. <laughs> I beg your pardon. I mean, I mean, he's very wealthy, and he's thinking of opening an account at your bank. Oh, oh, good, good. Well, tell him to come down to the bank first thing Monday morning. I'll take care of him personally. Oh, but but he's so busy, Miss Moon. He can't ever get away from his office. Oh, yeah, he's got so many patients, he's up to three couches already. So please, let's go and see him right now before another bank gets his account, huh? It's a good idea. All right, well, I better go and put a jacket on. I want to make an impression on a new depositor, you know? Good. Yeah. Wear that new one you had on yes, the other well, day. I have the whole suit. I'll, I'll be right down. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Parker, I talked Mr. Mooney into coming to your office with me. Yeah, we'll be right down. Yeah, thank you, doctor. Bye-bye. <laughs> My, that was quick. <laughs> that is a nice jacket. <laughs> I'm sure that you'll make a good impression on the, on the doctor. Well, I, uh, 
Come on, we'll go, Mr. Mooney. Uh, come on, Mr. Mooney. We'll go down to the doctor's office just downtown. Come on, Mr. Mooney. Come on. Come on. Stand up straight. Come on. Hey, Max, here's your dessert. Max, come on, stop. Hi. Max! Max! Max, get out of that car! Max, come back here! Max! Moody! Getting a jacket here. Oh, Bob. Uh, where's Mrs. Carmichael? Is she a red-headed dame? Yes, that's my secretary. Yeah, well, I've got news for you. Your secretary just ran off with my partner. <laughs> Good heaven! I wonder what she sees in him. <laughs> I wonder what he sees in her. <laughs> Dr. Parker? Well, Mrs. Carmichael. Hello. Uh, nice to see you. Thank you. Where's Mr. Mooney? Oh, well, he's waiting in the reception room. He, he's reading the Wall Street Journal. He enjoys that. And uh, I wanted to see you first and remind you not to say anything to him about my thinking that he looks like a monkey. You know, nothing about my hallucination. I understand, Mrs. Carmichael. I won't say a word. Okay, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Come in, Mr. Mooney. <laughs> Doctor, I'd like you to meet Mr. Mooney, the vice president of our bank. <laughs> Mrs. Carmichael, is this what looks like a monkey to you? Dr. Parker, for heaven's sake! He can hear you, you know. <laughs> but Mrs. Carmichael... You promised you wouldn't say anything in front of him. That's terribly unprofessional. What about your hypocritical oath? <laughs> but Mrs. Carmichael, this is not a hallucination. This is a monkey. Oh, come on, Dr. Parker. Don't try to humor me. I'm not humoring you. This is a monkey, not a man. You understand, Mrs. Carmichael? A monkey, not a man. Oh, yes, yes. I understand, Doctor. Yes. Yes, I understand. You have no hallucinations. No, no. I, I don't have any hallucinations. You're all right. Understand? Yes, I know. Yes, of course I understand. Of course. If you can go home now and, yes, and yes, take doctor. your monkey with you. Yes, I'm on my way, doctor, and thank you very much, doctor. Just get out of here before he gets violent. <laughs> Hi, Mr. Mooney. Hi, Mr. Mooney. Hi. Mrs. Carmichael, you have done some ridiculous things in your day, but would you explain why you took Mr. Bailey's monkey to a psychiatrist? Yeah, lady, I'd like to wait till we're both stars, then we can go together. You mean this is... You mean this is really a monkey and you're really Mr. Mooney? Well, do I look like Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm? <laughs> Made me the happiest girl in the world. Well, bully for me, bully for me. Yeah. You see, Mr. Mooney, I came down here because I thought I was having a nervous breakdown and because I was working so hard at the bank, you know, and trying to sell your tickets for the benefit. And, oh, that reminds me, Mr. Mooney, I haven't sold any tickets this afternoon. Doctor, would you like some tickets for our bank benefit? Uh, it's no. for a very worthy cause. No, I haven't got time. Oh, he hasn't got no, time. No, you see, that's <laughs> Oh, oh, you want some tickets? Oh, wonderful. Oh, you want some more? Oh, thank you. Oh, you got a lot of plans? Oh, maybe you'll take Tarzan and Jane. <laughs>